bringing Buenos Aires to the ballroom on Saturday night. It was time for Tango Dan to Tango from the competition. It's Dan and Nadia. We are so sad. Yes, the shimmy, Nadia. Yes, that shimmy. We're so sad to see you go. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's talk about Saturday night because Dan, yes. Tango Dan, I oh, want to say, hello. did you love it? I did. I've, you know what? I've loved every dance that I've done, and each each week has been my favourite. And I told Nadia on the Monday when she showed me the choreography, I said, I already love it. I can't wait to dance it on Saturday. <laughs> and um, I, that was that's the best I've danced in my entire life. Really? in front of 10 million people. I and should do. It's a good way to go out. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And Nadia, as well, for you, your first tango on Strictly. My first tango One on to Strictly. remember. Definitely one to remember. I mean, I would say it was my best tango on Strictly. Yeah, of, of. <laughs> number one, right? number, number one. Number one. Number one. one. We can take that one, we'll put that on the CV. <laughs> so you enjoyed it? I absolutely loved it. I mean, the way he improved and the way he performed on Saturday night, he didn't just dance that to the music. He actually performed it. He was in the moment. And he was there. for me, it was beautiful. I loved it. I loved every moment of that tango. I loved the music. I loved the way we danced together. How much hard work he put in. And then to show that in front of millions of people, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. And, you know, from watching it as a viewer, I mm. thought it was fantastic. However, the judges said it was a bit like a tale of two dances. We just saw Anton there saying, you know, that first half oh, yeah. I was in it. Then the second half, he felt that it just wasn't there. What what did it feel like to you performing it? Uh, it felt it felt great, it felt great <laughs> to me, but I'm not a professional dancer. Well, <laughs> well, you say that. I'm well, a well, professional well. dancer. Uh, okay. and, uh, Two time world champion, I think you'll find. It, it felt absolutely great. And then I watched it back. Yeah. And the position was perfect. I mean, I don't remember the last time I felt that comfortable in a really? ballroom position with someone, the way I feel with him. It was beautiful. Elbows Write were there. Write that down as well. Oh, that one down. <laughs> Everything was there. So um, I think it was the best performance, absolutely, by far. Do you know what? You, you guys have been such great sports, because especially here on It Takes Two, Friday panel, we have this laugh when you guys come in. <laughs> you go for the three, where you want to get three paddles. This weekend, your names were called out. That yeah. red light treatment fell on you guys. What was going through your mind, Dan, when it happened? I, I, I mean, to, honestly with you, Ryan, we've, we've, we've done, we did 10 weeks of the competition without ever being Which in a dance Which is unreal. Floor. And, and having never danced before and, and been sort of fearful of a dance floor when I first started out. So to get to week 11, we knew it was going to come at some stage, didn't we? Because everyone in the competition is so good. It's and ridiculous. I think the important now. thing is... Um, the best four dancers are in the semi-final. Do you and, think that? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, overwhelmingly. And I think, as I said at the, um, the dance-off, <laughs> I would have put AJ and Kai through <laughs> as well. Because I think it's important that it is, it's an entertainment show, but it's also a dancing competition. Yeah. And they're the best by a mile, and we all said that on day one. I, but we, I think, I don't think anyone's had as much fun as us. And I, I, do you know what, I really great don't, I agree with you there. Because you two really have enjoyed yourselves, and I know how much you've loved this competition. And despite the judges deciding to save AJ and Kai, they did say that was the best that they'd seen you dance in the dance-off. Surely that's got to be a bit of a consolation prize, should yeah, we say? Yeah, it, it, it is. And it, I think, from if I go back to where I started, and then think about where I finished, yeah. And it's done. It's two different people. I know, it is, and also it's it's three months of working with Nadia and her sort of teaching me and showing me what to do and telling me what not to do. And I, I feel like when I'm on that dance floor now, I'm a completely different person to the person that I've, I started out yeah. as. And the number of messages I, I keep reading to you, you know, and sending them to Nadia. The number of messages of people who've been inspired by watching a tall, awkward dad go on Strictly who couldn't dance and didn't know what he was doing to be able to do a tango like that on a Saturday night. That's a huge change for me yeah. and a huge sort of mindset change. And it's, it's, it's helped a lot of people either try to dance for the first time, dance in the kitchen, dance for the kids, dance for the partner. And that's what the show's all about. Do you know what? It's been lovely to watch as well as a viewer, the pair of you. And I think, just as a little treat from me to you, should we watch it all over again? Mm -hmm. Oh, go on then. Here's your best bits. <laughs> it's so beyond what I would normally do. I love early starts and I love hard work. I think I'm ready. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Are you ready for a challenge? I am. I love your energy. You are terrific. 
if you keep that up, you are going to be a shining star. They didn't expect it from you. It's nice to surprise people, isn't it? We'll take that. Oh, yeah. We and will. make it better. Oh, yeah. Betsy Doblet is very strong dance. Oh, just give her an idea a bit of a wallop in the chops. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. It could have done with a little bit more shaping, but it was strong. Another good show. Well done. You got a wonderful posture, but you went wrong. I felt like you completely lost your confidence, which was a shame. I spent my life avoiding a dance floor, and I need to embrace it. Otherwise, this Strictly thing might be over sooner than I hope it is. You look like you believe in yourself. Then a man is back! I've really enjoyed that jump well challenge, did you? I did, and I'm so proud of you. For somebody who's never danced before, it's a challenge, but I'm really enjoying the challenge. I can do something which I never thought was possible. Very, very sweet and gentle and romantic. You are turning into quite the dancer. Brace the jive, bring out the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gone completely. <laughs> Every week you come out and you keep improving your performance. That was your best Latin dance since this competition has started. Eight! We got our first date of the series. Yeah. It was all a bit vanilla and saccharine for me, and it was disappointing. I want a bit more of Dan the Man, and I think you've got more. I'm learning as much as I can week by week. I never expected to still be here. Another dance, another chance to impress the judges. You sure are representing all the men who've never danced before. Nine! <laughs> you are pushing out of your comfort zone. I can see such a development in your performance skills. That's the best I've ever danced in my entire life. I can now see that in the same way that I look at sport and think, oh, look at the impact that that has on people. I can see that with dancing. Oh, my goodness <laughs> me! It was beautiful. Dan and... I'm so proud of Danielle. I'm not even thinking about what I will feel when it all ends. It took hold, and then the frame had gone, and it wasn't your best. Judges, it is now over to you. AJ and Kai. You always encourage everyone, and it just inspires me to be a better person. I genuinely have loved every second of it, and this amazing woman sort of grabbed me by the hand and brought me out on this dance floor, and I'm not a dancer, but she showed me that I can dance. And if you'll have me, I'll be your friend for life, Nelly Vishkova, OK? <laughs> We had a fun time, didn't we? Do you know what? I mean, just looking at back, I mean, we were just throughout that VT, we were sitting there going, oh, that was good, oh, this thing's like a lifetime ago. You sort of said, you know, you feel like a different person now yeah. after doing this experience, but watching that back, how proud does it make you? It does make me feel proud, um, because I think I can't... Watching a lot of those dances back, I remember watching them at the time, and it, when I was watching it up in Claudia's area, watching it back afterwards, sometimes I'd look at it and i think, that doesn't... It can't be me. Yeah. It can't be me doing that because I've I've genuinely avoided a dance floor my whole life because I felt tall and uncomfortable and awkward, and Nadia just sort of opened all that up to me and said, you know, come with me. I can show you that you can enjoy it. You can smile, and the world will smile with you as well. And that, that's that's a proper game changer. And we did. We all did. Yeah. We all smiled with you. And Nadia, I know how much you've loved being partnered with Dan this series. How has it been for you? It was very special to me. Um... I love teaching him, but at the same time, I learned so much from him. You gave me the confidence in front of the camera, and you managed to create that environment for me where I felt safe, and I felt free to be myself for the first time. And your friendship gave me wings to fly again. Thank you very much. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> My oh, God, that was beautiful. You. Oh, thank you for saying that. Can we put, can we put them back in? I think that's the, um, I think that's the, you know, dancing is one thing, but um, friendship is important, isn't it? And it means yeah. a lot. I think it means a lot to both of us. And um, that's the ultimate compliment that anyone could ever pay to me, that, you know, if you can be a friend to somebody and, and make them feel they can be themselves on TV and you can turn me into something of a dancer on TV, I think we've had a lovely impact on each other, which is great. You guys have, and I said it before, I've said it all series, that the coupling up this year has just been so spot on, and you two have just been an absolute dream 
to watch. You really, really have. Keep dancing. Yeah. Do not be frightened of that dance floor and don't lose touch with and, that one. The final thing to say, Ron, is if anybody's out there and think, I can't dance or I'm worried about it or I'm concerned or that's not for me, just, you know, use me as your example because I was that person and I didn't dance for the first 40 odd years of my life yeah. and I just never went out there and I always felt uncomfortable and I went for it and I enjoyed it and I loved it and it's, it's been brilliant. So don't think you can't do it. Just get out there and have a go because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Don't be a stranger. We love you on this Thank show. You. It is Dan and Nadia, everyone. Well done. Thanks for having us, Ryan. Pleasure, as always. Uh, well, there you go. The competition might be here. In